Hello everyone and welcome. We are going to dream a little to distract from these gloomy times with an incredible adventure. Our team boarded the very first passenger train that made a crossing from East to West Africa. It's a unique report that you can discover right now in Explore Angola. The border between Congo and Angola. It was here during the summer of 2019 that a unique event took place, the arrival of the Trail of Two Oceans, a luxury train making a unique crossing from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic. The average speed was between 30 and 40 kilometers an hour, and it took 15 days to complete the 4,500 kilometer journey. Our team had the privilege of embarking on the Angolan leg of this historic event. On board these carriages, some of which date back to the 1940s, tourists from Europe, South Africa and the US experienced five-star service and were treated like rock stars. I'm very happy to see this train here. We present our culture, our tradition. We like the tourists very much and we thank them very much for being here, to share our culture with us. It was also an adventure for the staff on the train, South Africans, most of whom were also discovering Angola. So thank you, Angola, for coming us. I'd welcome back as well, because it felt like home. For the CEO of the train company, this experience will be forever remembered. A real enthusiast, Rohan Voss made the entire journey with his customers. And when it was time to take stock, new ideas inevitably sprang to mind. I look forward to Namibia being connected by rail uh, to Angola. There's obviously good reason why it should be or could be and then of course we would like to see this line connected to Luanda somehow. Mission accomplished. It was very emotional for the arriving passengers as well. It's been amazing and we didn't expect all this to be happening and the people are so welcoming and you can see there's a lot of potential here so i'm looking forward to the future it's been an incredible adventure i think we're honored to have been a part of it. i really do it was it was amazing and you just can't imagine the hurdles that they had to overcome to make this work and for many of these tourists this trip was just the beginning before they discovered the other wonders of Angola. An incredible adventure, this first trip between Dar es Salaam and Lobito. The CEO of this train is with us. We just saw you in the report. What stands out from the experience for you today? You know, when we eventually got into Lobito, um, you know, if I looked happy, I can tell you, I was happy because I never count my chickens until they've hatched. And we've been on quite a few journeys where we would get to the 99th kilometer and then something would go wrong on the last kilometer. So I don't, I don't get excited until the train pulls in. This report was actually made in July 2019. A second trip was planned for the summer that's just gone. It had to be cancelled because of COVID-19. Should we be optimistic and make reservations for next summer? Yes, we had full house for all those journeys. So for us, a very sad situation this year that we've had to cancel. Very sad indeed. And I'm sure for those passengers that were booked with us, they were very disappointed. But there's always next year, June, July next year. We already have an appointment for the 2021 edition. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for spending these few minutes dreaming of travel, discovery and adventure with us. See you soon in Explore Angola.